I'm a woman, and then having a man tell me all these things, that was one of the misconceptions I had. My name is Wajia. Uh, I recently graduated from university. Um, my major is history and politics. Um, right now, I am uh, part of the student experience team at a nonprofit organization, um, and I recently got married. Well, before this course, um, every time you were taught about Islam, it came from a perspective that it was mainly for him. Um, a lot of the time when you're reading the text in the Quran, um, you're always saying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he is supposed to do this or he is supposed to do that. But uh, so that was one of the, I guess, misconception or one of the things that before this course, it felt like it was just the men, but there was no such thing as a women perspective or how women supposed to do things. Even from when she's born to when, you know, she's, you know, her deathbed, it was, they didn't have that perspective until now when you have this course that teaches you from birth to death. Well, Sheikh Walid is actually very good in how he presents himself in the respect in respects to he's well researched in what he's teaching and because he's done a lot of these courses or been teaching for a very long time um, I personally feel that he knows where every where everything's coming from um, he kind of puts a personal touch to it when he's teaching these courses that you can, especially this in particular, um, that you can see, yes, he's not just saying it or he's not just presenting whatever is written. He's actually giving you something to think about. I guess just researching whatever I didn't understand, just Googling it, what I didn't understand. So having a structured course trying to present the fic of women helps a lot because now everything is there. Any question you have, any um, things that you have doubts about, it's right there presented in front of you. I'm a woman and then having a man tell me all these things, that was one of the misconceptions I had. Um, only because it's my body, I know how it works, I know what's expected. But then having a fic point of view from that it, it gives more of an understanding of why things happen or what is to be expected from an Islamic perspective. I'm now able to answer the questions that I wasn't able to answer before, but this, so this course allows that, you know, gives you more of, I guess, a detailed answer from an Islamic point of view where you can actually point out your evidence. That's what helps. Having this course really allowed anyone that attended to have a better understanding and better um, have more of confident in being a Muslim woman. So I can kind of put on my hijab, get up in the morning be and say, you know, I'm proud to be a Muslim woman. I don't need to take off my hijab just because the Western society is telling me to. So that is something I really enjoyed, that it empowers you to be who you want to be. Okay, the course experience has been great. Um, it is something that I believe every woman should take, have a better sense of who you are as a Muslim woman, and as well as contributing more of your thoughts um, to the society at large, as well as from a bigger perspective as a society, from a smaller perspective is, you know, when I'm not a mother, but when I become a mother, it will help me in trying to help my daughter in becoming a better Muslima. No matter how confident of a woman you are, um, it just allows you to take things into perspective that you never thought about and really, you know, get to the core of why they're there and what to, how to explain something a lot better than you, you know, never thought before. Every question ever asked about women's fiqh is answered in this online course. But if you want to challenge that, you have live Q&A sessions to ask what hasn't already been asked. There's an open and close to registration. Click on the button and get access to your student portal
before that window closes.